Today we are breaking down the greatest case study for the iPhone influencer testimonial video of all time. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a minute. Um, been running around, traveling a bunch, but uh, today we're excited to sort of break down something that we have found um, here at CTC to be an incredibly both inspirational and powerful reminder of some of the cool opportunities that we have with the marketing that we do. So as many of you know, I'm sure all of you know, the last few weeks there's been um, some terrible hurricanes that have affected uh, both Florida, the East Coast today, um, and then also Houston, Texas. And so throughout this, there's been a lot of movement and initiatives uh, centered around figuring out how to raise money and relief for the people of Houston. And one um, really rad story that has sort of emerged from all of it is the campaign that J.J. Watt has done. So J.J. Watt is the uh, defensive end for the Houston Texans, former NFL Defensive Player of the Year, and Corey's least favorite football player, Corey, is that fair? Absolutely. Um, Pete, is he your second? Russell Wilson? Or is... I'm, hot, I'm hot on J.J. Watt. Okay, so not a lot of love early in this office for J.J. Watt and some of his antics. Um, but. What he's done in raising, I think last I checked or before I got on air, it was about $32,380,000 um, in relief for Houston has been nothing short of incredible. And so what we wanted to look at today was sort of what's been fascinating about how that has played out and what, how he's actually been able to rally that support through something we consider to be in a massive marketing um, play here is the influencer testimonial video. So JJ Watt, if you haven't followed Corey, maybe we could take a pause right here and drop in the first video that he played. I think it was about two weeks ago. So here's JJ Watt's first uh, influencer call to action video for his, um, you, is it called You Care? You Giving? What's it called? Can I get a director check on the site? So anyway, check it out. I'm sitting here watching the news and checking the internet and seeing everything that's going on with Hurricane Harvey and the damage it's causing back home. And it's very difficult. It's very difficult, not only because we have family and friends back there, some guys have young kids, some guys have wives and families, um, but that's our city. It's very tough to watch your city get hit by such a bad storm and not be there to help, not be there to help with the recovery, not be there to help with the process. Um, it, it's very tough. So what I do want to do is I want to start a fundraiser because I know that these recovery efforts are going to be massive. I know that there's going to be a whole bunch of people we need to help get back on their feet. I know that there's going to be a lot we need to do to help rebuild. Um, so I'm going to put the link in my bio. If you can donate something small, if you can donate something big, whatever you can donate, please donate to help these people out. Houston's a great city. We're going to come out of this stronger than ever, but we're going to need a lot of money to help these people rebuild. So if you can donate, please donate. Everybody in Houston, stay safe. Houston, Houston, whatever it is, stay safe. We're thinking about you. We're going to come back. We're going to help you out. So as you can see, sort of all the best practices that we talk about here at CTC, it's an authentic, direct-to-camera, self-held, self-recorded film video with a clear call to action from JJ to go and give um, to his page and to donate for relief. And so a few of the things that I want you guys to notice over what was then a series of 14 videos. So this money, this $32 million was raised through literally a series of sub 60 second, four, 14 of them videos that were distributed on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter through JJ Watts profiles. Like that is the core of the marketing efforts related to this campaign were all done through this. Um, and so a, a few of the things you'll notice. One, they're shot um, in a format that allowed them to distribute on every platform. So on Instagram, the requirements are square or four by three sub 60 seconds. So just the intuitive nature where he's then able to take that video and if you look on his Facebook page and his Twitter account, the same content distributed through all three of his platforms reaching those audiences because he understood the format and the language of the platforms he was playing on. So that's just sort of the first thing. And then continual updates, engagement, but the core of it is really comes down to authenticity and the message, right? Is that here you have somebody from Houston with direct ties to the city, affected by the tragedy, calling out to his fans, which he knows also have a direct tie to the audience that he cares about, right? I don't think that Tom Brady could have had the same effect on this community, right? Because he doesn't have the Houston-based audience. So if you think about this from a marketing standpoint, what you have is an influencer endemic to the community that you're trying to reach that has great trust and credibility within them. So 
if you sort of extrapolate that out and you say, okay, how does that apply to me then as a marketer? Well, you want to try and find those influencers that also have the strongest overlap with the consumers you're trying to reach. And so we always talk about our sequences. First identify your audience and then figure out who holds influence over them. Well, in this case, it's sort of the perfect example of that. So really, what, what's sort of to be gleaned from all of this is that everything that we've been saying at CTC, one, that modern day marketing happens through a human to human connection in the, via these social platforms. And it doesn't require, what you didn't see was Sarah McLaughlin singing over sad videos of floods in a highly produced piece distributed on television. That's not how $32 million was raised. It was one dude talking to his iPhone with an authentic voice with an audience he knew would care about his message. And so I think that's what's really powerful here to tap into. So big ups to JJ Watt, despite the fact that you followed up this Sunday by talking about how tough you were for your bone breaking through your pinky and you just plowing right through it, which is what just angers Corey to, to no end. And I know you're alone on some field right now doing drills for the Hard Knocks camera. But either way, big ups. Um, and hopefully there's something to be learned for all of you. What we're going to do too is if you comment on this video, we have a PDF that we've put together of all the best practices that you could give to an influencer when asking them to record a testimonial. From format to length to file distribution to everything to make it super simple to make a request. So if you're interested in that, comment below. Corey will follow up, shoot you an email with that PDF. Um, but otherwise, go watch those videos and take notice of the, the impact that JJ Watt made through some very simple videos. Thanks everyone.